final evening of campaigning here in Taiwan as voters go to the polls tomorrow. And it's the last opportunity for the presidential election candidates to put forward their arguments to voters. There are mass rallies going on across Taipei tonight for all of the major parties. I'm here at the Democratic Progressive Party rally, and the crowd are waiting to hear from the current vice president, William Lai, who is hoping to become Taiwan's president. Now, he is not liked by Beijing. They call him a separatist based on his previous comments about Taiwan independence. And the opposition Kuomintang Party, they've tried to capitalize on that, framing this election as a decision between war and peace. Well, there's plenty of support for William Lai here tonight, and I have been speaking to some of those voters. As a Taiwanese, I think that democracy is the most important for me. So I vote for the, it's not vote for anyone, I vote for the democracy. So I think the most important issue is the Taiwan and Taiwan's relationship with China, because I believe Taiwan is a country and not part of China. Why are you voting for Lai? Uh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we trust he, uh, he will be the best choice for Taiwan. So this campaign is coming to an end with another display of Taiwan's lively democracy. But tomorrow, when the results start rolling in, they'll be closely watched by many around the world, including in Beijing and Washington. Because what happens here and the direction that this island takes in the next four years could have very big consequences across this region.